What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic. Uh, just for a quick video, I just want to do a few channel updates today, as well as show off the beginning of the new build. So the first thing, of course, is the Steam Workshop. I know if you guys follow any other Scrap Mechanic YouTubers, who I'm sure you do, um, they recently got the Workshop added in the beta. Um, so you can opt into the beta, it's really simple. Under your game, under properties, you can go into the betas there and you can opt into it. What the beta allows you to do is save and upload designs to the Workshop through the lift. So anything you can put on a lift you can save and load uh, between worlds as long as you have the beta active and it's a pretty awesome feature because it allows us to take designs from one world to the next and allows us to share creations with you in a lot easier way um, so with that for all future videos and all future designs if it's a world file that has actual objects attached to the world then obviously I will upload the file itself and I'll let you guys have access to the file through a download link um, but if it is just a workshop item, just a vehicle, uh, I will put those all in the workshop. I'll put a link to my workshop below. I've also started a Steam group. Um, and again, that's just because I have been getting a fair amount of friend requests recently. And that's great. And I, I really appreciate it. It's actually awesome, guys. My friends list is already ridiculous. And uh, that being said, it doesn't mean I'm completely closed off to people. But it's just a lot easier for, for me to manage if... Uh, any of you guys who want to follow me, um, join the Steam group. It is completely open and you can just join it and I'll have all the links there for all the workshops and I can answer any questions there and you guys can talk to me and, and chat with me through the forums in the Steam group. And I will post the, the links for the Steam group in the uh, in the channel description as well and, um, and all that jazz. So I have one project today. And uh, again, this is a very, very short video. I just wanted to show this, this one project that I've been starting. So this is going to be the first of hopefully a few uh, different, we'll call them series. I've been thinking about what I wanted to do for a build that was persistent. So a build where um, you see part of it over, over a series of episodes and it works towards a greater project. I eventually do want to do an amusement park. I know that one's been tossed around a lot. I know a few other people have done it. Um, I would like to make my own amusement park. I have a lot of ideas for different kind of rides and stuff. So I would like to do that one. But I decided on one that I thought would be really, really cool. And uh, I did get a few requests to make something like this. And as you can see, it's an outhouse in the middle of a concrete pad. No, but what it actually is, guys, is I've decided that it would be really, 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 really cool if you haven't been able to figure it out yet. This might help. Maybe? Anybody? All right, well, if you still can't figure it out, we're just gonna, we're gonna bring in the only, the only plane I've ever actually built in this game. And we're gonna just, Take it, we'll turn it around, we'll hop in here. And if I can remember how to fly this thing. So as you can see guys, I've been working on an airport and I might extend this platform even bigger. I haven't decided yet, I'm gonna start with this. Um, I would like to extend it a bit more out in, oh I can't even, I can't fly and talk. This is, oh, okay, brutal. So I would like to extend it possibly in that direction, uh, make it a little further. Um, but I do have big plans, so obviously I've been spending a little bit of time just laying out this platform. So you can see it is a pretty big platform. Um, got two runways right now, one in either direction. I had to find a spot that was big enough to fit the wingspan of a plane and have enough room to taxi down a runway. Because um, I do have an idea for making a plane that flies semi-realistic, unlike this here rocket with wings. Um, which normally flies better when I'm not trying to, to talk at the same time. But, oh crap. So I have been working on a runway. Um, obviously there's some issues. This is the one tree. Well, there's these trees here, this tree and this rock that poke through. But there's also this one tree here. So I'm actually thinking of trying to somehow wrap the control tower around it, maybe hide the tree a little bit. Um, but I am gonna be releasing updates on this on this platform here over the course of the next uh, couple weeks, probably the next month or so. And um, what I'm gonna, what I plan on doing is adding some hangers, obviously, adding some taxiways, which are just little laneways outside of the main runways for planes to kind of move around in. Uh, adding some planes, of course. I do plan on adding a parking garage outside, uh, as well as a terminal with all the necessary security gates and all that sort of thing. This is going to be the beginning of the international airport map. Uh, I'm really, really excited by this. I have currently made two vehicles. Well, I mean, the VTOL aircraft's okay. It's not really that great. I'm going to rebuild it. Um, but I have made two tuggers. So I had a buddy of mine. He joined in, and uh, while I was making one, he was making a copy of it. It was kind of awesome. Two little really simple tuggers here. So they're kind of cool. And these are going to be used for, you know, towing luggage. And they've got, they both have, whoops, little horns. And they've got this little hook on the back. 
So I'm gonna use them for towing some luggage, possibly for uh, towing those little staircases, maybe make a staircase vehicle. Uh, but really this map just kind of opens up the possibilities uh, for me to make something that's big and, and builds over time. So uh, I plan on putting the terminal sort of here to try and hide this rock stuff here. I don't really know how I'm gonna handle this yet. There is this kind of this big hole in the fence. Um, but of course there is two runways. They're not the same size. One's a primary, one's a secondary. Um, but I am going to try and turn this into a wicked map, guys. So if you have any suggestions for what you want me to put in this map, let me know. Put it down below. I do have some plans already. Like I was saying, control tower for sure has got to come right away. Uh, terminal building's got to come. Might put some shops in it. I'll probably make the big terminal structure and leave most of the inside empty and then work on different sections of the inside because it is going to be a relatively large uh, structure. Obviously, we need some hangars. Uh, I'm thinking maybe like a cargo depot type thing. I don't know yet. Um, I plan on stopping this map when the lag gets back. If the lag's not too bad, I might extend it out further and start working on some other things that, you know, also have to do with an airport, like uh, fire trucks and that sort of thing for, you know, the airport fire... I don't know what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about. As always, guys, if you haven't hit those buttons, hit those buttons down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Uh, go check me out on Steam. If you guys have any builds that you've seen in the past and you want me to post to the workshop, absolutely. I think I've only uploaded six or seven vehicles to the workshop right now. Um, but if you guys ever want me to upload a vehicle, don't be afraid to ask. Just post it there in the Steam group or post in the comments on YouTube. And uh, I'll absolutely upload those videos. Uh, but I will absolutely upload those vehicles. So as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.